when you buy YouTube courses and when you talk to people at YouTube, they try to like throw like, it's almost like they're trying to overwhelm you, you know, and they're like, oh, there's tags and descriptions and this and that and this and that. And like, if you talk to like the people high up, they're like, nope, I focus on click through rate. I focus on like how many people are shown my thumbnail and my title and click it, right? I focus on that and I focus on how long I can get somebody to not only watch my video, but how long I can get somebody to stay on YouTube uh, from yeah. the time that they start watching my video. And like, that's what YouTube cares about, right? So the first, the first point, the click through rate, um, how often do you watch a video on YouTube? And then you're like, okay, that was dumb. And you click the X and you close out, right? YouTube right. hates that. What YouTube yeah. loves is when you're watching a movie or a video and then they have those recommended videos, right? And you go over and click on one of those instead. Like, oh yes, they got you again. You know, you're, you're in the YouTube rabbit hole now. And so that's why click-through rate is so, so, so important is they want you to keep clicking and clicking and clicking and not clicking that red X, but clicking more of those thumbnails. And so- Because thumbnails. every time they do that, an ad plays before the video. <laughs> yeah, an ad plays before the video, an ad plays in the video, right? Like they're gonna make money off you if they can keep you on their platform. And YouTube is really good at the algorithm side of figuring that out, right? So, you know, you've got to be good at providing the algorithm what it wants is all is, okay, YouTube wants, like YouTube can tell which videos are going to generate the clicks from that user. Now you need to make the video that'll, and the, the title and the thumbnail that'll do that, right? So that's the first half. And then when I say, when I say watch time, there's the individual video watch time. And if you look at like that, what is ClickFunnels video? I think it's got like an eight or nine minute watch time, okay, which is wow. huge. Like Very it's sticky. really hard to keep someone watching a video for 10 minutes today. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and so there, there's a lot that goes into that, but, but like if that's the mindset you've got to have, like remove the fluff, remove the anything that they're not looking to get, right? Like um, give them a reason to stay till the end of the video, things like that. Like um, start dive. Like if you watch that video, it, it, a lot of my videos did so well in the beginning because I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a lot of like fluff to say. So it was just like, hey, I'm Spencer and I'm gonna show you what ClickFunnels is. And boom, right. you know, I'm in and I'm talking. And, and so, and later on I, I was like, I got good at marketing and I was like, okay, hey, I'm Spencer. And like, these are my credentials and this is why you should listen to me. And by the way, you should click subscribe. And like, you know, and I got lost in that rabbit hole. And yeah. a lot of those like later on videos just didn't do as well because because people, you know, they're like, this guy just, he's just talking. Like, I don't wanna gone, hear this right? stuff. I don't totally. care about Spencer. Right. You got like 10 seconds. If they start doing that, they're like, I'm out. Once you get into like the goods. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, exactly. And so if you lose, you know, 25% of your visitors before you've even got to the goods, YouTube's not liking that. Like they're like, we're not, we're not going to show Spencer's thumbnail as much when people are looking for things because you know, the people click on it and then we lose them and they, they click X. And so, um, the the big change, like the reason my original videos did so well. And, and now my like later on videos did so well and my video middle videos struggled so much is be because I didn't understand that. And in the beginning, I didn't understand that. And it was a good thing for me. Like, right. like I dove right in. It was always straight to the point. <clears throat> there was never fluff. I had, a, you know, I was just hitting my bullet points and I was showing them on the screen and giving them exactly what they wanted. And That's so great. ignorance that, is bliss, right? Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> yeah. And it's crazy. Like it's been hard for me to go back and, and hit that same level of success because now what I know I so much more. I want to say so much more. Right. And I like, I have to just be like, no, like they need to know this. They don't need to know any more than that. Right. Right. So so that's, that's kind of the, the YouTube algorithm in a nutshell there. And, and kind of like you talked about, like you can, you can fake it or you can, you can fake it in the beginning. So like you can buy a lot of that stuff, right? You can buy views and you can buy right. um, clicks and all kinds of stuff to YouTube pretty easily in the beginning. Um, but eventually YouTube's algorithm is going to catch on and it's really, it, it will always come down in the long run to, okay, wh which person, you know, there's, there's 500 people that it looks like have decent videos going for this, you know, that are around this topic. And so YouTube's got a double algorithm. The first algorithm identifies those 500, right, or 1,000. And then the next, the next part of that algorithm says, okay, who's going to keep this person on YouTube the longest? And, and that's the guy that wins the, the race there, right? 